Okay, uh, hello everyone. I am Anant, and today we are going to be discussing about quadratic equations and inequations. And these equations are encountered many times in a lot of scientific problems and in math in general. For example, if you want to describe the motion of a projectile, which is a body uh, which you throw up in the air and how it traces its path and falls down, then you would need the knowledge of quadratic equations. Similarly, if you deal with problems involving area of an object, for example, a rectangle, which is the product of its width and its length, then of course, again, there is a product of two variables and you could be dealing with quadratic equations. And another example is a lot of problems involving speed, distance, and time. So there are many different problems, and here I listed two or three of them to motivate the study of quadratic equations and inequations. And before we begin uh, the study of quadratic equations and inequations, I would like to introduce the concept of a polynomial in general. So let's start with polynomials. So let a0, a1, a2, and so on up to a n be n or n plus 1 real numbers, and let x be another real number. Then fx equals a0 plus a1 times x plus a2 times x squared up to a n times x to the power n is a polynomial in x of degree n. So what is this degree n? So the degree n is the largest exponent of x in the polynomial. So you can see that there's a0, a1, a2 up till a n. And a n is the coefficient of the term x n. And that is why n, which is the highest power, is the degree of the polynomial. So there are a few things you need to keep in mind. So all these, all exponents of the variable x should be positive integers. So they can't be fractions or they can't be negative numbers. So for example, fx equals x to the minus 1 plus 2 or fx equals square root of x plus 2x plus 5 are not polynomials. Why is that? Because here the exponent is negative. So x to the minus 1 means that the exponent is negative. Or here the exponent is not an integer. It is half. Or So that's how the square root is defined. And that's why these two are not polynomials. So this, what we've written here, is a real polynomial because x is, belongs to the set of real numbers. And all the coefficients of the exponents, a0, a1, up till an, they are also real numbers. So in general, so in general, we can have a few specific examples of some polynomials. For example, a linear polynomial is one which has degree 1. So the degree of this polynomial is 1. So an example could be fx equals ax plus b, where a is not equal 0. So similarly, we can have a quadratic polynomial. So a quadratic polynomial is 1 whose degree is 2. So the degree of this polynomial is 2. And you could represent it in this notation. So fx can be ax squared plus bx plus c. 
course, here, your a cannot be 0, because if it were 0, then this would become a linear polynomial. You wouldn't be having a quadratic polynomial. So similarly, you could have a cubic polynomial where the degree is 3, or you could have a biquadratic polynomial where the degree is 4, and so on and so forth. So these are the different classes of polynomials. So now, a polynomial can also have roots. So the next concept to discuss is the roots of a polynomial.